how to defend against a grab and a punch. We're going to show you in this video how to defend against hockey punches, grab and punches. He's going to show me an example of that. Grab and punch. Okay, so I got my good new friend here, Will. He's a hockey player, football player, very active. And he's asking me, what do you do in a hockey fight? How do you win a hockey fight? So we're going to show you some techniques that I've developed and that will help you in a self-defense situation. So stay tuned and we're going to get into that right away. And yes, we are giving away these free DVDs, Accelerated Wing Chun System Quick Start DVD, normally retailing for 129 bucks. But enter the contest. All you need to do is to subscribe, click the notification bell, and like and comment on this video, and you'll enter automatically into the draw. Every week, we're going to give away a free video. So good luck. What happens usually in a hockey fight? I grab, meet him, he grabs me, I try to punch him, I block him with this hand, he blocks me with this hand, and I try to punch him, and this is how it happens, right? Okay? Neither person really gets any hits up unless you're lucky. Okay? So instead of doing that, this is what you should do instead. Okay? You feel a grab, you pin it, and this hand comes up straight away. Okay? When he's grabbing, he's putting some force into it. So instead of making it making him control me, letting him control me. Right? I'm just exaggerating, but that's what ha what's happening. He's controlling me. So he's pulling me into his punch. That's what he wants to do, right? Okay, so instead of letting that happen, okay, you start from the beginning again. Instead of letting that happen, he's gonna, he's gonna grab, then take his balance by pinning your hand, so you can't see it this way. So he's coming in, he's grabbing, right? Take his balance by pinning his hand here, and then do a palm straight up to the chin. Okay, so. The drill will be he grabs, I pin, and this hand comes up at the same time. Okay. So grab, I pin, I turn slightly to bring him in. Okay. So he's grabbing, I pin, I turn slightly to bring him in. Okay, so that's the first thing Okay, So I want to sink this down to my chest, keep this tight, keep my elbow tight, down like this, so it basically locks him to me. See him, how he's locked in? Okay, so. That's the number one. Number one, pin and lock it in. Number two, at the same time, you just bring your hand up for a palm strike. Okay? So he's coming in. Boom. Like that. This is faster than his punch. Okay, so before he punches me, I got him. Okay, so that's number two. Number two is at the same time you want to pin and hit. Pin and hit. Pin and hit. Okay? And the drill for this is to do it eyes closed. So when you feel it, then you do the same technique. So, when you feel it, then you do the same technique. Okay, and make it more difficult, he's gonna put some more force into this foot. Okay. Okay. Let's see how it happens at the same time. Okay, if you do it wrong, this is what's gonna happen. Push it. Push it. You're gonna get off balance, okay? You're gonna get off balance, okay? So he's trying to take your balance so that he can upset your balance so that he can hit you harder, right? So instead, it's letting him upset your balance. Be like this, drop your weight, drop this, turn, and this comes up straight up. Okay, so stay tuned, we're gonna show you the next step, how to finish the fight from that point. Welcome back, so let's show you how to finish the fight. So we did number one, number two, and I'm gonna show you number three. So number one is pin, number two is this, number three is two, two more hits, one, two, Okay, so you want to do one, two, more. Okay, so it's one, two, three. Okay, and then the step four is to drag it down. So your hands here, slide it down his elbow, then roll his elbow this way. See how his body is now this over here? Let's go on this side and see what that's happening. So, okay, so he's grabbing, pin, palm in the face. Okay. I slide this down here. I roll his elbow over. Now he's in this position. I'll show you this angle. Okay. Grab, pin, one, two. I slide my hand here. I roll it over. Now he's in this position. 
So that's step four. Step five, I'm in this position. I'm gonna slide my hand here to the back of his head. If he's in hockey, uh, I'm gonna grab his helmet. Okay. From here, I'm gonna bring my hand over and just punch it this way. That's option number one. Option number two, I'm showing you option number two. One, two, three. Option number two, slide it here, bring him into a guillotine. Maybe it's hard to see, but what you want to do is you want to bring your elbow very tight, locking your fingers like this, and lift it up with your hips. Make sure this is tight, and swing it up with your hips. Okay. So I'll show you option one again. One, two, three, slide in, boom, slide here, grab, punch. Okay, grab his hair, he doesn't have a helmet, that works too. Okay, option two. One, two, three, slide here, slide to here, slip it into a guillotine, and then do it in the joint. Okay. So, you all right? Yeah. Okay. So, those are some of the techniques you can use. You can try it in a hockey fight, or you can even use it for self defense against a grab and a punch. Is that working for you? It does. Yeah. <laughs> we showed a clip later where this is first class and he's able to defend against four people, and just a drill is not like super realistic, but he did a pretty good job um, learning this technique just today, right? It's first class, and you'd be able, you were able to do it, I'd say like 80% of the time. Okay, go. Okay, Thanks for watching. 
If you want to get more of these videos, make sure that you subscribe to my channel and get all the latest lessons that are coming out on a weekly basis. So today we did a self-defense technique. Every week we're going to release a new self-defense technique with instructions, so make sure you don't miss a, any one single lesson. Make sure you click the subscribe button, but also click the bell next to the subscribe button so that you get instant notification whenever a new lesson is going to be released. So see you soon in the next lesson.